Hey there, I'm Sam. Welcome back to LightEye. Thanks for joining me for the detailed breakdown of the FLC 200 from WeApp. If you didn't get a chance to check the feature, do that real quick at the link in the comments below. This robust floodlight family was built for architectural outdoor lighting. What does that mean exactly? Well, let's walk through the details and I'll leave it up to you to figure out where this might suit your application best. If you're navigating the WeF website, make sure you're on the North America page. Once you've clicked products, go on ahead and head straight to symmetrical floodlights. That'll reassure you that you're in the right place. The FLC 200 family ranges in both size and output. Just for a frame of reference, this is the 260 with 36 diodes. Woo! And I am not joking you, it is bright. 12 diodes is a little bit more manageable, but I still would probably never recommend staring straight into any of these high performance optics. The smallest version is just over seven inches in diameter. Albeit it has a wicked looking Batman heatsink, it comes standard in black, white, silver, and an architectural bronze. If you want any other color, no problem at all. Just give them an RAL color to match. With the standard color temperatures limited for quick delivery, it gets lights out the door fast for your projects. They can also provide a larger range of static colors on a custom basis. There's a two channel system available for tunable white, as well as a four channel system for RGBW. Side note, it does require two cables, one for power and one for your DMX. And don't forget, both of those options have virtually a zero mixing distance. What exactly does that mean? Well, essentially, if you were to put this up right next to the facade of a building or an object, you would have perfect blended color because you have a single chip that either puts out that RGBW or tunable white solution. The test of time really is something that's important to WEF. They designed their finish to last you at least 25 years. It will stop the corrosive nature of the environment from literally eating a fixture from the outside in. That scratch almost has no other effect on the fixture. Whereas if it's not treated properly, it can end up looking like this. Dissimilar metals, they're a real thing. Look them up if you don't know all the details. We have to make sure that there's no seizing or locking of stainless steel and aluminum alloy, so they coat their fasteners. I know what you're thinking though. Sam, what is that thing behind your head? It's the guts of the profile projector. Currently, it's designed to fit onto the 220 or the 230 body. That's the seven inch or the 10 inch version. Delivering anywhere from 3,500 to almost 7,000 lumens out of a single profile projector. Keep in mind, combining that with a tight beam really does yield some impressive results. There are four different elements to it, three of which are glass and can be adjusted on the internal rail system. And the fourth is where either the shutters or the gobo can be placed. And thanks to their innovative quad chip RGBW system, you can send color through this thing just as much as you can send pure white light. When it comes to safety, or should I say safety of the luminaires, they're not quite bulletproof, but how does IK7 and IP66 sound for you? Another trivial but unique feature is the yoke design itself. If you look at this, you can see how the luminaire is actually resting on the yoke, allowing it not to over rotate if you were gonna aim it in that downward position. And you can rotate it all the way around to an indirect application. And again, it gives it a resting place so that it doesn't accidentally over rotate. Of course, you've got nice, big, easy to tighten down screws that you can also insert a tool into. This thing's not going anywhere. But of course, sometimes you just want it to lay flat or stand plumb like this. That quick jut out gives it an easy to maneuver and position option. So where does all the power come from? Well, no matter what size you have, that optic and that diode basically gets multiplied across a bigger platform. And what does that do for you? It keeps things consistent, no matter 
what size luminary you have. The same output, the same optics, and the same color mixing per individual module will always remain consistent. Of course, don't forget, you can modify it with the Profile Projector System. I promise you, it's not a Canon. So there's a lot there, but honestly, that's kind of the point. The FLC200 family has you covered when it comes to architectural outdoor lighting. What's important is you pick the light output. They take care of the rest, from pointing it all in a package, helping you paint with light, and of course, standing the test of time. If you have more questions, do me a favor, send us an email at that email address right there, and we'll make sure you get the answers you're looking for. If you like lighting and you want to learn more, subscribe to LightEye, and I'll send you my next light idea. See ya.